Hey guys, so today I want to do some more gameplay on the quests for BRM5. Figured I might as well record it, and I f think it's pretty common sense, but I know some of you might need some help on how to do the quests, so I figured I'll do a mini tutorial at the beginning. If y'all don't need the tutorial, skip to whatever's popping up on the screen, that'll be where I actually start my gameplay. So, if you don't know how to do this, basically, go to Open World, then you're going to want to go to that new city area where you can spawn, not the Ronograd one, but the other one, it's called like... Satura or something, Saturina, I can never uh, pronounce it right. And then you're going to want to run into the city. There's about six AI I've seen throughout that you can talk to. You go up to them and you ask for a job. And basically they'll usually give you something you have to pick up with a car. You just tow back into whatever it is, bring to wherever it wants you to go, come back. Sometimes there's combat, sometimes there's not. I've only gotten one with combat so far, but they're pretty fun. And keep in mind there might be a time limit. Watch for that on the top left. I didn't notice that one time and I almost ran out. And once you've gotten a mission from one of the AI, it's going to take six hours before you can interact with them again is what I've heard. So don't try and go back to the same one. Look for a new one. And if you're finding that nothing works, like none of the guys are letting you get any missions, it's probably because you need to save some more hostages. So if you've killed hostages, your reputation is going to be like down the drain. You're going to have to go and get that reputation up it might take a good bit uh, make sure you don't accidentally kill any of them because I think that brings down your reputation a lot and progressively you'll be able to do more missions and therefore you'll be able to get more credits and XP yeah that's pretty much it let's get on to the gameplay alright guys we're gonna get going here and like I said I want to be doing some quests so I'm gonna go ahead and go right to Saturania City that's what I'm gonna pronounce it as Saturania hopefully that's right Y'all can debate how it's actually said in the comments, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've genuinely played the game, because I always have cheats enabled with RGE and whatnot. It has been over six hours since the last time I talked to these guys, so I should be able to get a mission from all of them. I don't know how many I'll do, but I'll do at least a few and see what this guy has to say. So the world... The world... The word is that you've been putting in some work, Big Shot. What's up? Or I'm going to say I got a job for me. A recon unit just identified an HVT leaving the naval base with a small formation of vehicles. No word on destination, but this is a good chance to scratch off the board. Okay, except. So I'm going to have to go to engage some enemies. And they are moving. Holy crap. Uh, do I get a vehicle? I guess I have to spawn my own. Um... This would be helpful if I actually had some people with me, if I'm having to engage. Hopefully it's not too many. Uh, I've never seen like a moving mission like this. I might have just recorded for like the coolest quest. So the, they're moving towards Cory-ish, maybe? I don't know. Looks like they're going left. I'll skip to whenever I reach them. Okay, I'm getting close, guys, so I'm going to start talking again. I have four and a half minutes left. It's actually a pretty small timer. This is the stuff that I think could really help the game. Some live combat. Now, how quality is it going to be? We'll have to see in a second, but... Okay, yeah, they're right there. I don't know if I should get out here or not, but... Yeah, I should have asked for help. I definitely should have gotten some fans in here before I started going. Okay, as long as my vehicle doesn't explode, I think I'll be okay. I'm just going to take one of these bandages. Which, those new animations are pretty nice. Okay. I think I'll be alright. Took out all the close ones. I just gotta take out that turret before he gets a lucky headshot. Because he will, like, one-tap you, I know. Alright, come on. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna drive over there. Yeah, that wasn't crazy difficult, but it took me a second to get there. If I have to drive back in a really, like, three minutes, I... Might not make it on time. Hopefully it's just like taking these guys out and then it's it. They were just a sniper heading behind. Alright, that's mission success. That was cool. I got 450 cash, 350 XP. Yeah, that was a pretty quick mission. And you get money from the kills as well, so it's more than 450 if you add that up. I wonder if it gets progressively more difficult. I don't know if I'll have similar missions like this, but with like uh, maybe double or... Different kinds of enemies or more vehicles. I don't know, but that was interesting. Definitely makes this game more interactive for people who play solo. But even for me, even as a content creator, 
I'm going to find a lot of enjoyment in this. And I think I'll kind of like stream or record all my experiences with these quests. I don't know how many there's going to be or if it's like an infinite thing and it starts repeating quests after you go through. But we'll have to see. One of the few complaints I do have is driving throughout the city is kind of tough with how cramped the road is when you need to pick things up. Like I've noticed when I have to put things on the back of my cars, it's quite difficult to actually get it to work. Um, if you guys are looking for where there's a few of these guys that you can get missions from, go to where the aircraft carrier is. There's like two guys in this section. So, and I know there's some more that are uh, inside the city as well, and there's one in the other entrance. Okay. See what you have to say. It seems you've been keeping busy. The locals have asked me to pass their gratitude to you. All right. Need any help around here? You're just in time. My men just finished preparing a crate of water supplies for one of the forward deployed teams. Can you bring it to them? Accept. All right. So this is probably just a pickup mission. Yep. Collect and deliver. Pretty sure. We're going off road in. See, this car is fine. It's got it. 700 meters out. It's probably just one of the little mini bases. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Goodness, this is a bumpy ride. Yeah, it's that old church over here. Deliver here. Mission success. Okay. Yeah, that's the end of it. I don't have to drive back or anything. 13 minutes for that. Nice. That was easy. Okay, 600 cash for that one. Okay, now I'm going to look for the other AI that's over here. I already talked to that guy. I should be saying NPC. These guys are more friendly as well. Um, I think he was further this way, the other one. I know there were two over here. Yep, he's, there's the other ones at the very end, if y'all are trying to look for these guys. Alright, uh, Graham, what do you have to say? Well, look who finally decided to stop by. What's the trouble? Got anything for me to do? A set of radio... I don't know, I'm not going to try and say that. We launched last week, just started to come back down. We need someone to go and retrieve them, so to be reused down the line. I'm going to accept that. It's another collect and deliver. I'll probably just skip this one for you guys unless it's anything of interest. And by the way, guys, while I'm driving over there, I want to let you all know I'm going to be making a cinematic to display this new edit. So they changed a lot of the maps and various areas, so I will show off that in a cinematic just with uh, some music and covering a bunch of the things that have been added. So I'll show some of the guns being used, and I'll show um, some of the new areas and all that good stuff. And yeah, mission success, so I have to find one more person. I'll probably do like one or two more things. We'll see. I hope I get something more interesting. Your name very big here. Everyone talking about what you do. <laughs> I've been told that like ten times. But you know what, man? Thank you. As a lieutenant, my men assemble weapons, guns, big and dangerous. I know of one not far from my home. You must destroy it. Wait, what? why am I destroying it? Well, find and destroy the HMG. Okay. Well, I thought he was saying that he was making those weapons for his guys because he's a lieutenant, but apparently they're enemy weapons, so I don't know. We're going over there either way. So I really liked that there was a patrol going around Ronograd for that one quest. I think it'd be cool if that was just happening all the time, though, but randomly. So they could even be going down these main roads. You could have it to where they don't go very close to, like, the FOB, because that still wants to be a safe area. But if we could just have, like, one or two set of enemies patrolling through, maybe on foot, but I would say probably with a vehicle or two, that would be really, really interesting, and it would actually give a dynamic um, where things would be unexpected. Because even with the... Quest, you know it's coming, though, because you're driving to a marker. So they already kind of have it programmed. Just throw it in, but have it to be, like, generically there for everybody. And, hey, that might be pretty cool. Let's see here. I think I should get out at this point. Hopefully they can't see me up here. No, yeah, they can definitely see me. The jig is up. I'm just going to have to take them out and hope they don't hit me. From this distance, I think I'll be fine. Their range is pretty crap, but I can't really see them either. Like, bro, they're barely hitting me. You're right. I 
I'm gonna go in closer for these last few. I'll use a vitamin. Oh wait, there's actually a lot. Seems like they're getting clumped up over there. I can take out a lot of them now. There we go. That wasn't too bad. We'll go pistol for this close range. Oh, there's a dude some- Oh, frick you, there's a sniper. Guy's actually gonna take me out. Hold up, why- Why was he taking so many hits? Let me bandage up real quick. Okay, I need to search this entire area, so I should probably start getting on that. Oh, okay. Place explosives. Oh, I'm actually doing an animation to place some stuff? Cool. Okay, evacuate area. I should probably run. But why would it say evacuate area, but still show me that marker as if I'm supposed to be there? Yeah, okay, good. I definitely was supposed to run. Mission success. Okay. How much am I getting from that? 450? Alright, so it seems like it gives you a little bit less on the missions where you have combat. Because you're already getting money from attacking and taking them out. So, By the way, I really like how the gun goes on the side here of your backpack when you have those bigger backpacks. And the pistol actually goes in your holster now, so that's sick. It's not just going around on your back. I want to see some of the new backpacks, because I heard there are some new ones of those, but I have not seen them yet. Neat thing. Alright, let's look at the backpacks. I think I go to vest, and then customize, backpack, view all. Okay. That's an old one. That's an old one. That's an old one. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. This is one of the new ones. That looks pretty good. It's got a little radio on the side. Pretty generic. I wonder how it would look with the camos. It's not bad. Let's see. The E2. That's the one I'm already on. The compact. What the heck? Why is it on my butt, bro? <laughs> Wait, okay, let me try personally. Can I move it? No way. That's totally a butt backpack. Alright, let's see what this one is. M9 med pack. Interesting. Yeah, okay, this backpack's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna stick... Mm, I'll keep this one for the rest, the remainder of the video, but I think I like the rust pack better. Pretty sure that's the name of the one that I had on. Alright guys, so that did end up being it. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subbed yet, I would definitely appreciate it so you can be notified for future content. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to join the Discord, it's in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.